guys. So really quick, we're going to show you spark plugs. Um, very easy to replace on the driver side. You have one, two, and three. The passenger side, you're going to have to remove the upper intake manifold, which is not hard to do. You just have to take these two tens out, and then you have two nuts on either side of the manifold, and then a couple of other tens in these two up here. There's a couple of connectors that you have to remove, and then there's two coolant lines that you have to take out anyways when you're doing this turbo kit. Otherwise, this manifold just pops right off, and then there's a gasket here, so make sure you don't lose that, make sure you don't damage it, and then you have four, five, and six. Or, you know, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six. But, you know, you know what I mean. So, to remove the spark plug, you just 10 millimeter, Take it right out, and then you pull up on the ignition coil. What I recommend doing is cleaning this out and then putting some dielectric grease in here. You can get that at AutoZone, Advanced Auto, O'Reilly, um, and it helps seal around so that you don't get any corrosion or anything inside here. These connectors are kind of a pain, so, so I wouldn't even bother with them. Yeah, no, no need. Right. <laughs> So anyways, uh, once you've taken out the ignition coil, you're going to use your 5 8 spark plug socket. It's very standard size, but if you don't have one, we would suggest getting one. Once again, from AutoZone, you want to make sure that it's on. Pull it right out. Some spark plug sockets, like this one, the rubber boot will fall out from inside. If that's the case, you just grab a magnet gently pull the spark plug out once it's completely out of its slot. So you're going to have to kind of finagle this, right? Put this in, make sure it's pulled out, grab the magnet, and then pull your spark plug right out. But of course, if you've gotten a new spark plug socket, it should have the rubber boot, which clamps onto this part and pulls the spark plug out. Yeah. So let's show you guys the spark plugs that we do have for you. Let me go grab that for you. Yeah. Uh, so the spark plugs that actually come in your kit, you're going to get six of them, obviously, because you got to be six. Um, they actually are pre-gapped to 0.028, so you do not have to do any gapping on them. Yep. Um, so yeah, go ahead and open up. These are laser iridiums. You can see the, the part, part number there, too, on the top of the box. Yeah. For you. Yeah, 93819. Mm -hmm. Once again, the gap is 0 0.028 inches. Yeah. Now, you don't have to gap these. However, I've found standard practice is check them yeah, with a spark plug it. tool. Yeah. Once again, you can get that advanced auto, auto zone for a dollar. It looks like a little coin, and it'll tell you the gap. And you're just basically going to take this out. You're going to uncover it, and you're going to slip the gap tool right in here mm -hmm. to check what your gap is. You shouldn't have to do anything about it, but it's better, it's good practice to make sure, hey, this is gapped properly, then put everything in, and all of a sudden you have a misfire in the cylinder because one of these is not gapped properly. Yeah. It could have been dropped, you could have dropped it, anything. Yeah. So. And if you do need to adjust it, uh, there is a tool, and I'll quickly go and get that real quick. It's, uh, sure. Moody's looking at that. So while Alec goes to get the tool, I'm going to show you how to put the spark plug in. Now, once again, this spark plug socket should have a rubber boot to hold on to the spark plug. Unfortunately, this one doesn't, so we're going to have to be very ginger with it so that we don't drop the plug like that. But anyways, you're going to line it up inside, and you're going to spin it by hand to make sure that it's threading in properly. You don't want to use your impact so that you don't damage it or cross-thread it. It'll take a while because there's a lot of thread on these spark plugs, but once it's in, you'll start feeling a little bit of resistance. Once there's resistance, you're just going to grab your 3 8 wrench, and you're going to tighten it. You're going to feel a lot of resistance right away, but right around there. You don't want to tighten it too much so that you strip the threads or you damage it, but you also don't want it to back out. And once again, right around here, you're going to wipe it off, get all this dust out, you know, with a proper rag, microfiber towel, and then dielectric grease, just a little dab inside here, run it around the inside, 
push the spark plug, push the boot onto the spark plug so that you can spread the dielectric grease and then take your 10 and put it right back on. And this one you can use your gun for. Once again, the driver's side is easy to do. The passenger side, you have to remove the intake manifold. And these you don't really have to kill, right? They're just to hold the boot from popping up and down. You want to make sure that these ignition coils are in the right order. If this coil goes here, which it can, and this coil goes there, you will have a misfire. It will not run properly. So you need to make sure that the connectors for the coils are connected properly. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see exactly how the wiring harness is supposed to sit. And if you want, take a picture of yours before you start. Exactly. It's a good way to zoom out. Yep. All right. That's how you put your spark plug in. All right. Until next time, happy boosting.